Okay. <clears throat> You've been hearing lots of stories and testimonies of God's wonderful working power. What does it make you think about? How has it affected you? Um, I'm always real encouraged by faithful stories of the people that I view as mentors and to see how they have continued to move forward, to fail and to get up and try again. It, it, it is encouraging. I think especially for like people in my generation, failure is something that is the worst thing you can do. That's the mindset. But in reality, it, it's something that propels you forward because it gives you experience. And I think hearing faithful testimonies of, of people who have continued to um, live out the Word of God, that weight alone gives enthusiasm. It, it, it gives a, a sense of realness that I could be a part of it. And that, that's something that like, even in, in Luke, you know, the disciples are there and they're, they're actually doing the work, they're getting to work, they're, they're healing the sick and, the, and they're, they're um, uh, a lot, making where the blind can see again. And Jesus takes a moment and he acknowledges, they're like, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad that you guys are, are finding purpose and are doing this and finding fulfillment. But remember, the real thing here that you should be thinking and being joyful about is that you're written in God's history. And I think that even as like I learn who I am or, or this is who we are, I gotta get to be a part of that. And that's something yeah. that, that only by the grace of God that I would get to be a part of something so miraculous. And it, it's something that you, you, you can't take for granted. So yeah, um, let's see, I'll do the second part. Yeah, that was it. Uh, see you later, uh, love you, bye.